Is it possible that governments around the world who claim to be democratic are in fact fascists wishing to impose their ideals using private corporations as their lever upon the citizens of the United States. The definition of fascism is the merger of corporation and state to achieve what neither one could on their own. Today, Rumble, by the way, please join me at rumble.com because YouTube is a censorship machine. I release a video a day, three videos, released today a total of 17 views. And YouTube claims that they don't shadow ban people. <laughs> well, they do. And uh, so today, Rumble, which I urge you to join, Recharge Freedom at Rumble.com, they received a letter from the UK government urging them to deplatform Russell Brand based on allegations. You see, in English common law, there is such a thing as innocent until proven guilty. Furthermore, if I shoplifted a candy bar and was guilty of this fact, does the government have the right to come and urge a corporation to shut down my means of income? Which is exactly what the government is trying to do. They are trying to coerce Rumble.com, YouTube, all of the social media platforms to censor that which is inconvenient for them, that which they do not like. Do they go after, for example, members of Antifa that somehow are the muscle that back privately the Democrats in the United States, for example? That's why they dropped all charges against them. That's why they're paying out $4.7 million in Denver to BLM protesters, rioters, who had their right to speak, their First Amendment rights, violently suppressed. Yet they're trying to suppress Russell Brand's right to speak. Here is the letter that Rumble wrote back to them, and I applaud them for doing so. Today, we received an extremely disturbing letter from a committee chair in the UK Parliament. While Rumble obviously deplores sexual assault, rape, and all serious crimes, and believes that both alleged victims and the accused are entitled to a full and serious investigation, it is vital to note that recent allegations against Russell Brand have nothing to do with content on Rumble's platform. Exactly. You don't deprive a man of his right to earn based on external events that have nothing to do with your business. Just yesterday, YouTube announced, based solely on these media accusations, guilty until proven innocent, or guilty based on the presupposition that believe all women, it was barring Mr. Brand from monetizing his video content. Russell stands for very different values. We have devoted ourselves to the vital cause of defending a free internet, meaning an internet where no one arbitrarily dictates which ideas can or cannot be heard, or which citizens may or may not be entitled to a platform. And by the way, that goes for the left too. The left, the right, people in the center are all welcome on Rumble equally so long as they aren't violative of any laws. And to the best of my knowledge, Rumble doesn't shadow ban like YouTube does. That makes Rumble the superior platform, which is why I urge you to join me there. Continuing, we regard it as deeply inappropriate and dangerous that the UK Parliament would attempt to control who is allowed to speak on our platform or to earning a living from doing so. Singling out an individual and demanding his ban is even more disturbing given the absence of any connections between the allegations and his content on Rumble. We don't agree with the behavior of many Rumble creators, but we refuse to penalize them for actions that have nothing to do with our platform. Although it might be politically and socially easier for Rumble to join cancel culture mob, doing so would be a violation of our company's values and mission. We emphatically reject the UK's parliament demands. This is what needs to happen whenever these governments threaten free speech, whenever they come out and try to silence those who are voicing opposition, because it just so happens that Russell Brand is becoming a thorn in the side of the establishment that wants to continue the war in Ukraine, that demands that you take the drugs manufactured by Pfizer and Moderna that somehow contribute massive amounts into the coffers of politicians who are campaigning, who donate magically to their campaign. This is fascism. The same way that they try to mandate vaccines, what the 
private corporations does, cannot do, they employ government to do. And what the government cannot do, silencing speech, they try to threaten and coerce platforms, free speech places like Rumble, like Twitter into doing so because they want control. And this is going on throughout the history of mankind. And we are at an inflection point right now where in the near future, it's going to be very easy to monitor all of us using artificial intelligence, to know exactly what we're thinking, what is going on. And all they have to do is take over those who advocate against them, those who decry their motives, and then they will have the population hypnotized and they will be able to turn the key in the turnkey authoritarian machine that they have created. All they've got to do in the near future is just flip that on, which is why that we must all speak out against it. So once again, join me at rumble.com, dump YouTube, see you there, I hope, and way to go, Rumble, for standing up for free speech. You can like Russell Brand, you can dislike Russell Brand, but 15-year allegations that are that old, coming forwards now, is very suspicious of a smear job. Do you think that they'd have done this if he was a key component of advocating on their behalf? The answer, my friends, probably not. No.